Hey there, cats and kittens. Did you just say, flame on? This is a no smoking zone. Speaking of the return of Johnny Storm, today's comic review is Fantastic Four 600. A Marvel comic. It's 100 pages and it's written by Jonathan Hickman with four different art teams. The Fantastic Four first debuted in November of 1961. They were created by Stan Lee and Jack Kirby. And the team is comprised of Reed Richards, Mr. Fantastic, Susan Richards, The Invisible Woman, although she first debuted as The Invisible Girl, Reed Richards' wife, and mother to their children, Valerie and Franklin. Her brother, Johnny Storm, the Human Torch. And the heart of the team and best friend to Reed Richards, Benjamin J. Grimm, the ever-loving, blue-eyed thing. Now, this team was revolutionary in many ways in the fact that, yes, they did fight supervillains, uh, but they were principally explorers and adventurers. And they took us to unknown corners of the Marvel Universe. And they opened up such visually interesting places. For example, the Negative Zone. We had, yes, superpower characters, but first and foremost, they were family. And there was always squabbling and bickering and just kind of family problems, but always a strong foundation of love. And so this interpersonal dynamic was really, again, quite revolutionary. This issue is 100 pages and it's $8 and it features four stories. One of the stories features the return of the Human Torch, who briefly died heroically before being resurrected in a way that, while logical, was very um, unsettling. Another story focused on two of the members of the Inhumans, Black Bolt and Medusa, who are the king and queen of the Inhumans who live on the moon. And another story focuses on Franklin Richards, the son of Reed Richards and Susan Richards, He's probably the most powerful mutant on Earth, and he has the power to restructure reality itself on seemingly a universal scale. So, again, that's obscenely powerful. So there's a focus on him. Lastly, there's a story focus on Galactus, who devours worlds, the living essence of worlds, as his sustenance. And he plays a non-traditional role, since he's going to play the role of savior of Earth. Um, so, But there's a very strong story element why that would be the case. Jonathan Hickman is the writer for the five stories in this issue. And he does a wonderful job of doing a very strong narrative. Now, there are five different art teams on them. And each of them, in their own distinctive manner, is able to effectively convey the story. It's a fun book. And I hope the price isn't daunting to you. It's... Again, not for collector's purposes, but just simply as a way to reacquaint yourselves with some old friends. I'm sure many of you have grown up with the Fantastic Four. And it's a very solid issue. All right, guys, as always, thank you for your support of this channel. And I would greatly appreciate it if you would thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and please pin me to your homepage. I hope you're all having a wonderful day, and I will talk to you very soon. Bye.